Hello and welcome to Action Teacher Video. Video is a powerful tool that teachers are using to reflect on their own practice and to communicate new ideas. In this series, we feature videos produced by teachers themselves and discuss the contents and implications here in the studio. In this program, we'll be looking at an innovative approach to English drama and history at Tuxwood Community First School, captured on camera by teachers Tim Taylor and Emma Hamilton-Smith, and called the Nelson Explorers Club. I'm delighted to be joined in the studio by Tim Taylor and Emma Hamilton-Smith. Tim, Emma, hello, and welcome to the program. Hello. Joining Tim and Emma is another teacher with some similar experiences and concerns from Ellenbrook Primary School, Christopher Mooney. Christopher, hello and welcome. Hello. I'm also delighted to introduce a consultant and frequent contributor to Teachers TV, Adrian Jones. Hello and hello. welcome to the programme. Tim and Emma, maybe you could tell me a bit about the background to your project. Yes, the video you're about to see is a very short look at work that um, carried on throughout the whole year. Um, I planned for the work to um, be centred around Nelson and the Battle of Trafalgar. Um, this was because um, it, 2005 was the bicentenary year of the Battle of Trafalgar and also the fact that Nelson was a Norfolk hero. We actually created the video so that we could actually look at learning happening you know, during um, our drama sessions. And Tim, what was your approach? Well, the system that we're using was developed by Dorothy Hethcote and it's about using drama to integrate the curriculum. It's about creativity and innovation, but it's about engaging children in meaningful and purposeful contexts for learning. Hello, hello, hi, is that the, um, is that the NEC, the Nelson Explorers Club? It is, fantastic. Um, I, I'm, just, um, I'm, I'm just wondering if I could pop down, because I'm, I'm really interested in Nelson. I'm a, I'm a teacher who works in a school, and uh, I've got a, a, a year two, three class, and I'd like to um, find out about Nelson, because I, I need to know what to tell them next year when we're learning about it. Would that be something that I could do? You can come down at any time you want, or... You really? could arrange something for next week or this week. Well, I've got some spare time now. Would it be alright if I came down straight away? Yeah. yeah. Would that be alright? Are, are you open? Yeah, we're open. Yeah. 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 Is it yeah. the sort of place where children can come and look at stuff? Yeah. It doesn't say don't break anything. Don't know. Well, no, I, I guess that would be very important, wouldn't it? I could tell them that. Okay, so what, what, I wonder what, what would be the important things then that, that we need to let him know? What do you think? There might be loads of things around because all like his medals and all his stuff are all around so he's got to be careful where he walks. He's got to be careful and I think you're saying if he bought the children there'd be a lot of people in the building so they would have to be very careful. They have to be careful of the sword because the sword is already quite broken at the bottom and right. so are some of the other things. They can look at the things up there. Okay. Now I think there's still too much for him to carry in his head. There's quite a lot there, down. isn't there? Why don't we? What? So what do you think we should do? Push it down. Okay it's then. Down right. Okay. So right. Let's get some paper. The important things that you think that he must know. Let's write them down. Write one thing down. We can give it to him, and then he's got it as a record, hasn't he? I think it's a good idea, Kenzie. Okay. <laughs> Do you know which battle it was that he lost his 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 eyes? Yeah. Which one was that? I think it was Cape Saint Vincent. Cape Saint Vincent. Because this is the sort of stuff that my children are going to be interested in, you see. Because the sorts of things that that my class are interested in are how he lost his eye. He was standing on the poop deck and um. He, no, because he had his hand like that, he was looking through the telescope with his blind eye and then um, they couldn't, he couldn't see enough and then somebody shot him in the back. The friend saw him turn around and then he got shot through the back and then it came, um, it hit his heart. I'll tell you what, my, I don't know if it's something that you even consider doing, but my class would be very interested in seeing what that looked like on the day of the battle. We could show them by pantomime. You could show them in a pound. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Um, uh, like as characters. 
as characters, like someone, a, a boy is Nelson wearing his suit. Yeah. And, um, and someone else is the cabin boy. Something, somebody would be the cabin boy. Like someone, yeah. Would, yeah. someone would be the cabin boy. Yeah. Someone dressed up on another boat. I hope that you're all are very interested in coming to see what, what the Nelson Explorers Club have got to show us today. And uh, we're going to try and find out as much as we can about Nelson. And looking at the way they're holding themselves in their hands, can you tell what's happening? I just feel like every, uh, everyone's sad about because he because he died. Nelson died um, by the French because one of the French come and tell my children because I yeah. um, nearly nearly shoot Nelson and one of the guards of the French killed Nelson and this is how he died. And this is the and moment it, that he died. All his sailors and guards and. His nurses and doctors, right, and his cannon boy were sad about him because he was really good and he never won the French battle, but he did. And he won the last medal. Could you tell, could you tell my class something about Nelson that you think is very important that they know before we go back to our school? What do you think is important that they know about Nelson? He fell in love with a girl. He fell in love? Two girls. Well, Nelson I... fell in love with two women. Um, Fanny, she fell, fell, He fell in love with Fanny and um, Lady Hamilton. Lady Hamilton was his girlfriend, but Fanny was his wife. Can you tell um, this class something important about Nelson? He lost his arm and eye. He lost his arm and eye. He lost his arm and his arm. Ow. Yeah. He had a daughter called Horatia and he had a sister. Emma. First went on uh, HMS Raisinable when he was 12. He went on HMS Raisinable when he was 12. Did you know any of those things before? No. So you have some information that they didn't know before. Tim, that was a very interesting video because you as a teacher were juggling so many roles. How mm. did you manage that? <laughs> well, it's always um, a process that you go through in, when you're working in this way. And it's difficult and it's complex. And you can see in, in the film that Emma and I are struggling at some points to, to maintain our roles. Mm. What kinds of changes do you see and therefore what techniques do you then employ? Right. It is about personal growth through experience. And the classroom is quite a, a confined space and of course it's quite um, restricted in what, where you can go. But using this way of learning, you can go into the imaginary world. And the imaginary world opens up the possibilities of anything you like. So they can be on the, the bottom deck of the victory, supporting Nelson as he dies in his final moments, and exploring and experiencing that. Of course, not really, no. but in, this, in, a, in a way that is understandable to them. Whereas most learning, I think, if you don't go into drama and you don't explore those things, learning always remains at a distance. It's not emotionally affecting. All his sailors and guards and his nurses and doctors, right, and his cannon boy were sad about him because he was really good and he never won the French battle, but he did. And he won the last medal. Adrian, this child tried hard to explain to the class. What do you think? He did. He was, whilst he was engaged in the drama, he seemed to have trouble quite knowing where to focus. But could you tell us a little bit more about how he works normally and what kind of role he was being set? Um, Harry was very in the drama there and he was working really quite deeply. Um, this is a boy who struggles really to access a lot of the curriculum. But um, using the drama in this way, he is really thinking. You can actually you know, see him thinking and dealing with what he wants to say. You can see him wringing his hands. Mm. He's, he's physically manifesting what his trouble that he's having articulating. And he's looking for me for guidance. Mm. And typically, 
the teacher would step in there and, say, and, and feel uncomfortable for him. But we don't want to be doing that. We actually want him to struggle with that mm. because that's part mm. of the process that he's going through. You were at the time it's happening that he was wringing his hands, yeah. or yeah. or is this subsequent to the video and looking well, the, at the video? Well, the video is very interesting because the video brings it out. Of course, when you watch it over and over and over again, you can see. Um, in, I mean, for example, the, the the girl behind who's fiddling with the, something on the desk was totally. I mean, I didn't notice that at all no. at the time. But watching it again, it's very interesting how you pick up on those mm. things. But of course, she's one of the very um, most engaged children in, in, in the class and keeps coming back and goes out and then comes back and goes out and comes back. And one of the things that you have to do as a teacher when you're working in this way is be tolerant of that kind of, of that type of engagement. Because yes. as a teacher, you, your, your, your instinct is, to, is yes. to talk to her as a teacher. But of course, I'm in role and she's in role. And what she's doing is, as long as it's not actually destroying what we're trying to do, you have to just let it go. Chris, what do you see the value of this approach? How do you see it? Possibly drama is the best way uh, to learn history. Um, I mean, I've tried similar things myself um, in teaching World War II and the Tudors. And obviously, because we haven't got time machines, we can't go back in time. Quite often, role play is uh, one of the most successful ways of teaching history. What's interesting for me is, I've done a similar thing within um, year four, um, and I wasn't sure before I've seen the, uh, before I saw the video if I'd have gone as low down as year two and tried that out. Now you could go on all the drama courses, and and um, they could tell you that it will work. But it's interesting to see the video, and then it allows you to see that it does work. Even that, even for children that young. Even for children that young, yeah. You, you talked about using drama for history to support learning in history. Do you think it's got a wider appeal than that? I mean, not just with Key Stage 1 children too, but actually across the rest of the curriculum? Uh, yes, I do. I mean, obviously speaking and listening is becoming a, a huge issue now with it within primary schools and obviously the primary strategy that's being introduced currently um, is, is focusing really mainly on children's speaking and listening skills because over the last decade or so, we've been so concerned with reading and writing um, that it, it can be argued that children, have, have, um, especially verbally, um, have st stopped engaging in class. What's next? You've produced this video, you've used it for your own CPD purposes. What will you do with it now? Um, well, I mean, I'll be using video, um, not just the video that we've just um, produced, but um, it's now become you know, really more important for me to use video in the class just to see what's, what's going on. You too. This video itself is going to be used at conferences in Newcastle and Stansted and Norfolk, but also I think it has um, more potential than that and can be used uh, for teacher training and, and exploring things in an open way. It's, it's a discussion point. It's not a perfect piece of teaching and learning by any means, but it's something to look at and explore and discuss. Well, I think that's a good point to end on, but I'm sure that this will provoke much more discussion. You can, of course, find out more from our website at teachers.tv. And it only remains for me to say thank you to our teacher producers, Tim Taylor and Emma Hamilton-Smith, and our guest, Chris Mooney. Thanks also to our consultant, Adrian Jones. Please join us again on Action Teacher Video. And in the meantime, from me, Xanthi Steen, goodbye.